Welcome to my latest video looking at railway lines in Shropshire and the surrounding area. On this journey I'm looking at some of the quarry lines which are to the northwest of Lanymenech. This is actually a relatively unknown area in terms of railways around Shropshire and I'm looking forward to exploring this part of the county. Well let's take a quick look where this is on the map. And we have Ossestry here and down here we have Lanymenech. And it's this area here, this sort of mining area up to Nantwar where we are exploring several lines. This part is very much in the borders. This area here is in England down to Blodwell Junction. But this area here uh, into Lanymenech is in Wales. Well it all looks a bit clearer on this map. And here we have the original mining lines which went from Lanymenech up to Nantwar. And we have this one here also branching off the Ossestry Welshpool line. Later on we had this line up the Tannant Valley which was added at the beginning of the 1900s. Well I'm going to be starting here on the Ossestry Welshpool line looking at the first quarry line and then I'm going to explore down to Blodwell Junction and on day two I'm going to have a look at this line here from Nadwa down into Lanny Menick itself. Well my starting point is going to be just here where we see the Oswestry to Welshpool line still coming down, track still intact, but then the quarry line branches out to the west. So I'm going to make my way to there and then, then along to the bridge that crosses the Oswestry Welshpool line. And the junction would have been just in front of me here with the line going down to Welshpool just going down through these trees here on that bank and on its way in a southerly direction while the quarry line bears to the right. As we can see the track is still intact and I think it's still intact all the way down from Oswestry. Well I've just come through the bridge and I'm now looking east again from where I've come and this bridge carries the Oswestry Street to Welshville Road. From here I'm going to go around the corner to this bridge here and where we've got the level crossing. Well I'm at that point now just looking south. Now it doesn't look like it but the quarry line to the north bared to the right here but it's just got very overgrown with trees. You can just see between the trees actually the start of the track bed there bearing to the right. This is that bridge that we just saw on the map and just in front of us is the start of the quarry line bearing to the right and going north. And here just to the west of the bridge you can see the quarry line, the track bed of it, just going through those trees there in the distance. And this is the one platform halt that served the village. Well, we're looking sort of northeast here, so if we pan round to the southwest, we've got the level crossing. Well, we've now come across to the south side of the crossing. If we go back to the map, you can see Offa's Dyke Path here and it crosses the line 
and it's that point which I'm going to go and find now. Well, I've come down onto Offers Dyke Path. Let's see if we can find that railway. Well, here's the style coming up on the railway. And you're the lucky ones because you can't smell the hen house, which I can here. That's looking eastwards, back towards a level crossing. If we look westwards, we're heading straight for Bloodville Junction. We're going directly east-west here with the Offers Dyke Path going north-south. And Offers Dyke Path carries on over that stile and up into them woods. Well, if we look back at the map from Offers Dyke Path, we can see the line go down under this bridge here. And this is Bloodville Junction. And you can see the junction there. And the station was by the bridge, which is where I'm going to get to next. Well, I'm looking west here from Bloodwell Junction Station and in the distance you can see Bloodwell Junction itself. You can see the two hedges, one going to the left and one to the right. The right one is the Tannock Line and the left one is the spur down to Lanny Menach. There is that same scene in 1948. And that's what it looks like today. And back to 1948. This picture is also from 1948 and taken a bit closer to the junction, about halfway down that field. So you can see the, the fork to the right and the left. And it was probably taken about halfway down that field. This picture was taken in 1957. And if you look carefully, you can see the track is flooded. And that picture would have been taken just in front of me here. This picture is taken from the platform edge and was taken in the 1960s. It would have been taken just down there from where I am now. And this is the scene looking east today. We can see in the distance the uh, runaround loop which was used between 1985 and 1989. And there we have a picture of that loop being used in 1985. And that is it today. So here we are to the east of the bridge and the eastern side of the station. And you can see Bloodwell Junction right through the gap there, through the bridge. So finally we're looking east and through Bloodwell Junction towards the southwest. Well from here I'm going to see if there's any trace of the line just to the south of the village. I'm not expecting to find too much but we'll go and have a look. Well this is looking east and the line coming up from Bloodwell Junction. and the... Unfortunately it's private land so I can't get on it. If I come over to the west, it's also private land, but once again we can see the track bed clearly off on its way towards Wales. There's very little to see now of the track on this side of the Shropshire border. Now zooming in, that certainly looks like a platform edge there, so I'm sure this was a halt. We can clearly see that halt marked here on an older Ordnance Survey map. So from this point, I'm going to go and look at the line down to Lanny Manick.